Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's just explore Bun, which is a new, fast, all-in-one JavaScript runtime. It should rather be fastest so far because it's really fast. It's It has been built from scratch for the most part. It uses JavaScript core, which is the engine of WebKit browsers, which Safari also uses. And it's just a decision by the author of the engine itself to use JavaScript core instead of V8 because you know V8 is more traditional. Dino uses V8, Node is built on V8, and V8 tends to be a little performant, but JavaScript course is a you know, which tends to start and perform a little faster, which is what he says. I'm not sure about the technicalities, obviously, because I've never really worked with both of them at a engine level, but I don't know like what the reason was. But anyway, the point is that Bun is insanely fast. It includes a lot of interesting things. It includes a lot of new features and, you know, just brings a lot of toolkits internally, pretty much like what Dino promised to do, but without actually breaking Node itself. Dino took an approach where it said that, hey, we are nuking NPM and Node modules completely and we'll just do something which is like completely different. Bun, on the other hand, is a way faster version of Dino, but also includes a lot of compatibility layer between Node and Dino. So it's much more easy and, you know, just no brainer actually to shift from Node to Bun as a drop in replacement compared to Node to Dino, because in that case, you actually have to rework your code base. But anyway, let's get started with Bun. Let's see what this actually is and let's discover along the way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install this Bun and I'm gonna just use the curl command which is available and run it. And I already have bun installed, so I'm not sure if it did anything at all. But if you do a bun v, you're gonna see that you would have some version printed. The latest version right now is 0.1.2. 0.1 was the version which was released as a, you know, the first public facing version. Other than that, it was just an invite only thing. So now, once you have bun installed, you're gonna see that you have a bunch of CLI options as well, right? you have a bunch of things you can do. You can run NPM scripts, you can add packages, you can compile your TypeScript files, you can run them directly and so on. So let's start with just a very simple example, right? I'm gonna say console.log, hello world, right? Now I'm gonna run bun run index.ts. And you see that we get hello world automatically. And it's super fast. I mean, it's loading the ENVs in less than a millisecond, less than a tenth of a millisecond even. So that's cool. Now, the next thing which I just described was that Bun also uses .env file by default automatically. So you see that if I have an ENV created over here, Bun would start using it without any external support, right? So I can just do, let's say console.log, port is and then I can say process dot env dot port num. Now you see these TypeScript errors because it's you know the TypeScript config is not defined it's not happy but you can see that it still works. Bun is able to just echo out env variables pretty easily you can see it just loads the env file in, in super less time so that's also important as a starting time for your application bun also acts as an http server so you can say bun dot bun dot serve and again all of these types would be eventually available eventually fixed right now vs code complains because we don't have the packages installed but it will be there when bun gets, you know, when you install more packages to support these types. So for here, I can say process.env port num. You know, for this, bun actually needs it to be an integer, otherwise the server does not start. And you can supply a fetch argument, pretty much like how Cloudflare workers work. And because this is a TypeScript file, we can also use types. And you can just return a new promise saying hello world, right? Not a new promise, new response. Okay, so you can see that we created a very basic simple HTTP server in Bun in less than 10 seconds. And if I now run this, you can see it just stays there. Now what I can do is open another terminal and hit up the server. And you see that we get hello world, we can say hello from Bun, whatever, and restart this and you're gonna see that it starts working again. So you see it's a very performant, it's a very performant HTTP server because over here you can see that it's server side renders React at 48,000, almost 49, almost 50,000 requests per second, which is an insane amount of request for a single node or single server thing, right? You will never like 
realistically you will never send that much traffic to a production website on a single host but it's just nice to know that there are technologies now over here that can handle that sort of load node is sitting at 16,000. dino is slightly behind but dino actually is way far behind if we look at the ffi which is an interface for calling native code from node.js and if we look at an sqlite driver so again the point being bun is insanely fast it's super fast it can run scripts fast it includes if we go down over here in the batteries included section you can see it includes web apis like fetch so node.js also has support for it now in version 16 and moving forward it has support for websocket it has support for a you know typescript and jsx also just work so we haven't seen jsx let's take a look at how you can work with jsx so let's say if you want to console log hello world like this right so obviously in a native node world this makes no sense right but in bun case you can make it work if you rename this from index.tsx to index.ts to index.tsx and if you run this you're gonna see that you get a nice you know just a console log of your jsx element which is not very helpful in this case but you get the idea that you can work with you know jsx within your bun files and it will just compile it properly also bun has a runner which can run npm scripts and it runs it insanely fast right you can see over here that when you run bun it immediately just runs everything and exits but when you're running npm run with a clean script it takes a lot of time right it just keeps on going and going so i mean it's it's super nice replacement a drop in replacement i think for running npm and yarn scripts that you just use the bun runner because even it says here that it saves you around 160 milliseconds on every run which is probably the start time which includes a bunch of you know time on the starting script so when you write npm run dev for example what you're essentially doing is invoking whatever that dev script was but npm also needs to invoke its own binary right and npm takes some time which bun obviously reduces because it's more optimized so i'm i'm guessing that is where this optimization is coming from because you can't really optimize the script itself unless the engine itself is optimized right so unless this dev script is using bun itself there's not a lot you can do to speed up that particular process or that particular thing but that is just that is just interesting to know again bun install is something which is an npm compatible package manager so let's see let's work with that over here i'm gonna just remove node modules package and yarn.lock right let's just have a clean slate and i'm gonna say bun install express and we don't have a package.json file so i'm gonna just yarn in it and i'm gonna say bun install express so apparently it does not work like that let's install yarn add express and let's just say websocket and let's just say what is graphql let's just say i don't know like joey something like that so we have this much it's not a lot let's add a few something like bcrypt which is like a natively compiled which should take some time to install apparently not but okay so let's just remove node modules now and let's just say bun install instead of yarn and let's see how much time it takes in two seconds and i'm gonna remove this i'm gonna say npm install let's see how much time it takes and it took i don't know how much but probably less than three two seconds kind of like three seconds so it's i mean it's two three seconds is not like a lot of time to actually judge it but let's just go ahead and take a look at code now right our own source code so i'm gonna go to backend i'm gonna nuke our node modules folder right let's see how that works with bun now because this is like a this is like a project this is like something which you would work on and uh, let's just say bun install first of all hit enter let's see how much time it takes it's taking quite some time which is you know okay because this is a big project but let's see if it is actually faster than npm or yarn as a matter of fact and i'm not sure but it appears like bun got stuck in this project at istanbul js installation for some reason not sure if it is stuck or if it's just my internet is bad but either ways i mean again it's like a software in beta so that's fine maybe we can cut it some slack remove the node modules folder oh, there's no node modules folder that's okay we can try it out one more time and see if it works 
And yep, it did this time. It did in 6.58 seconds. Let me just see if there's any trickery going on over here. So we have bun.lockv file, which is something which I don't want. And we also have node modules over here. So let's just get rid of that also. And let's do a fresh install because I'm not sure if it had any role to play. Okay, so it's obviously using some sort of cache because this time it did not even download. Not even sure like how to clear the cache for bun because it's so early. Okay, so you can see that there is this directory. So we can remove the cache and then install it again. RMRF modules and bun install. Let's see how much time it takes now. Again, I'm not sure why it hangs, but it does hang for bigger project installations. This time it is on JWKS RSA. That's okay. I mean, the next time it works at least and it's in beta. So I don't know like what's what's the deal here. But uh, yeah, I mean, again, it's, we can't compare it if, if it just hangs. So that's okay. So that is again bun which is a fast javascript runtime which to say the least is amazing to use it's super fast it compiles great you know it supports a lot of things typescript jsx web sockets fetch native node apis and so on so it's like a fresh air kind of thing right inside of node and javascript ecosystem let's see how far it goes can it compete with node.js can it become like a default javascript runner on the servers We'll find out soon. That is all for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.